Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a project share that I did for myself. <laughs> Very rarely do I get to do some projects that are non-design team project stuff. So um, I was excited to do this and I planned to do this um, earlier in the year. Um, last year I made lots of like uh, gift tags for presents and I thought I'd do it again. So, um, cause I really like to decorate my uh, Christmas packages and make them look really cute. I don't care that people are going to rip, rip, rip. doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. So let me show you the, some of the ones that I've been working on. Um, so I found this cute little, um, hot chocolate mug over on, uh, in my Cricut. And I thought it was so super cute. Now, with this one, um, what you have to do is, this one is meant to just like lay down directly on something and glue it to something. But I wanted him to be kind of like standalone, if you will. Um, so um, you have to take whatever you're cutting and you have to select weld. And it'll just make a, it'll weld everything together and it'll just look like a blank, like this. It'll look like the back piece right there. Just a black piece of a shadow of whatever you're dying out. And then you glue it onto the actual, um, um, to the back piece so that you can create it. And so that it's standalone, you don't have to glue it directly down. So that's what I did to create a few of these. Um, as I did have to use that weld feature so that I can uh, make that happen so that I could uh, use it as a tag. So, um, of course, um, the little reindeer um, that came from Hobby Lobby, uh, the little foam uh, holly piece came from um, the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, the rest of it just is, you know, a cut for this particular um hot chocolate mug. It's really cute. Um, it does come with a piece that says Christmas, but it's so, it's so tiny. It like just tore up my paper. So I just omitted that part and just used um, some red um, glitter cardstock. And then I used the whipped cream portion of the, uh, to create it. So, and I made a whole bunch. So um, I have those ready because I think I'm going to share a few with my mom because she likes to do the same with uh, gifts as well. Um, here's another one. Same thing. I did have to use the weld feature on this one as well so that I have a backing in order to put these pieces onto so I could create it this way. And um, the only thing I added was I did the pom-pom. I added some little cheeks on the dots or dots on the cheeks area. <laughs> and then I added some little gems on it. And I did use, instead of a white, I did a silver for like the, the foam. It's so cute. It's like a reindeer mug. Adorable. And then um, here's the last one that wasn't actually that I found in Cricut. Um, was this super cute little hot chocolate mug. I love it. Um, so uh, it doesn't come with the cocoa on there. I just found a word in Cricut that said cocoa and I cut it out using glitter cardstock. Um, and I added the bow and the little gem there. So cute. And I did in a boy style. And then I did um, two in a girl style with the bow on top of the head instead. But the rest of it is exactly the same. But how cute. I thought that was so fun. I can't wait to uh, use that on some packaging. And then um, these two I found over on Etsy. Um, so I made some cute little gnomes. So I used a blue glitter, glitter cardstock. And then I um, glittered the beard as well using some of my own glitter. I added the little holly piece with the little button. And then I added a snowflake as well as a little pom-pom on each of them. And this one just so, it, this one was meant to be a tag uh, for our gift tag. So it already has a little hole in there. So I just have to put some a cute little string in there. So I made a couple of those. And then last but not least, I love my little Grinch. He's so cute. Um, this one also had the hole included because uh, this is also from Etsy. Super fun. So, I mean, there's literally only four colors you need that, like green, yellow, white, and red. So very fast to kind of mass produce some of these and uh, get them done. I think these are so adorable. 
So that's the last one. Um, I think I'm done. I No, I think I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do something gingerbread, but I haven't done it yet. So, and that'll be it. I I probably won't even need that many, but maybe I will because I'm going to share some with my, with my mom. All right. And the last thing that I made um, was I made this cute little, I am like always going to bone up her buttons because I love this look. It's so cute. So I had a whole bunch of gingerbread, um, buttons that I got from her and then I got this cute little um paper um from you guys know Echo Park um I think it's Echo Park but um this is baking I'm sorry I'm losing my train of thought it's baking spirits right because I was trying to remember the maker of the paper and as a matter of fact I'm probably looking at it no it's not Echo Park it's Simple Stories um, and it's called Baking Spirits Bright. Yeah, it's right next to me. I wanted to use this because it has a gingerbread theme to it. So I created this cute little box. It measures three and a half by eight. I did go ahead and use some acetate um, so that you could see the bows through the box. Um, I added this cute little um, flower that I purchased on... Um, Instagram for uh, from scrapping for my boys um, and then I added just a chipboard piece I kept it really simple with what I put on the outer part of the box only because I knew you would be able to see the bows and I didn't want it to look too messy so um, I think I love how that came out so super cute and then here's the inside um, and I was able to get five bows in here and I would probably put a little shred or something if I'm gonna share it with someone. And I used some of these cute buttons that I got from Bona. How cute is that? I love them, so adorable. And um, all of these are um, like triple layer bows. So there's two bow pieces and a tail. Look at that little cute little face. Adorable. So yeah, I made five of them and I love how they all came out super fun oh look at that with a little frosting on the head <laughs> and then look at this one how cute yeah super cute so that is all that i did and had time to do <laughs> so uh, if you guys have any questions uh, don't forget to leave comments in the comment section below and don't forget to follow me on instagram at sassy blingy me 31 and I'll talk to you guys all soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll talk soon. Bye.